right, NBA fans, it's just been reported by Adrian Wojnarowski that James Harden will opt into his contract. But not to stay in Philly. He trying to get up out of there. You already know we're gonna talk about it plus more right after this. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. All right, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of NBA Central. We got the man that speaks, Steve-O. You can follow him on all social media platforms at Steve-O Speaks. You got me, Cognac Boy Bobby. Follow me on all social media platforms at the Cognac Boys. We here to talk about James Harden. So if you like what you listen to today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Now, earlier, not too long ago, Adrian Wojnarowski dropped a Woj bomb, saying that James Harden was opting into his contract with the Philadelphia 76ers for about $35 million per year. Well, in this last season, also it's been reported that James Harden trying to get up out of there for the L.A. Clippers or the Knicks? Huh? Steve-O, how you feeling about that, my boy? Uh, you might as well go and sit down, put your seatbelt on, and stay where you at. Because uh, I don't know why you sitting here trying to force the issue out when it was you. You the reason why it didn't work. <laughs> when you played the way you wanted to play, when you played with some heart, y'all won. As soon as that heart got taken out, y'all lost. So now you're going to sit here and tell me that you've been on probably the best team in a while. Y'all have to build up some camaraderie. Y'all have to build up a lot of chemistry. And probably one of the best situations you'd have been in since, I'm going to say OKC because Houston was just weird. But I'm going to say as an organization, it's probably one of the best organizations you'd have been in. So uh, I don't – you going to the Clippers, I'm like, okay, you still don't stay healthy. So, like – are we looking at that as how healthy you really going to be? And then when you looking at that, you want to go to the Knicks? You they you think Philly bad? They going to kill you for real? So we ain't inviting Hayes no more recordings. This is what we doing. This is what we doing out here. It was busy, wow. gang. We trying to get you. Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all fake. I see what it is now. I see what it is. I see. No, we, we, <laughs> we thought, we thought uh, Drip was busy, but he popped in there, man. Hey, hey, so far, man, what you think about James Harden opting in? But surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, in most people's eyes, he trying to get up out of there to either the Clippers or the Knicks. I, it's such a weird thing to opt into a contract for the hopes to be traded just because, like, we've heard for, what, about six to eight months now that the Houston Rockets was going to be interested, and he was interested in going to the Houston Rockets. So, like, I, did that dry up? Did he get some word there that the Houston Rockets don't want to add him anymore? Now he decided to opt in. It's really weird, right? But I think the teams that are on this list kind of make sense for him, especially when you talk about the New York Knicks, right? They, they're they always looking for a star. Um, and maybe, and maybe, maybe, Maybe Philly looks at it and say, hey, we can do a lot worse than R.J. Barrett, right? Maybe they can get R.J. Barrett back in that deal. So That's not bad. I mean, I think I look at it like this. I, I'm with you, Steve-O. You pretty much came in. You said that, hey, this is one of your best situations you had in a long time. And the crazy thing is, like, regard regardless of how everybody felt about Doc Rivers and him getting fired, that, bro, you was in a good situation. You was in a good fan base. Uh, the organization seemed like they had they got their head on straight after they went through the quote unquote process that ain't result to nothing. But Steve O was right. Most of the problems that came about was on you, James Harden. And the, your your body your body language was so terrible. Some way, somehow, you convinced Joel and B to play like crap. So that's just something I look at. But I think that when it comes down to looking at both of those teams that are reported, man. Do you really want to go play with the Clippers with two other guys, stars over there, who can't stay healthy? Me, personally, I think that the better option would be the Knicks. At least they're going to be able to sell more tickets, and you probably can get something better back in a trade package. What you say about that, Steve-O? He just hell. That's what I got to say about it. He just straight hell. <laughs> like, I, 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 no, the reason I'm just sitting here, you breaking it all down, I'm just sitting there like, so your thoughts were, I'm going to break up this whole organization, get the coach fired, get the star player comfortable with you, and I'm going to bounce out. He's he James Harden played the role of the perfect side chick, right? You come in, you disrupt the marriage that's going on, and then when the dude finally wants to wipe you down, you'd be like, hey, no, nah, I'm good. 
That's what that like James That's Harden not is supposed to be. Right. It's so right. weird, bro. <laughs> like it, it, it just it nothing James Harden does makes a lick of fucking sense to just be frank, bro. Nothing. Yeah. Like, right. like, first of all, the dude's in the middle of cha- of of transforming into Kimbo Wedge because he's way more round. Kimbo be, Wedge, not can't slice. Can't so slice, ah! Kimbo Wedge. But <laughs> <laughs> not Kimbo Wedge. <laughs> but, then, but then on top of that, like, it just James, the James Harden last couple of years of his career makes no absolutely no sense, bro. Like, you go to Brooklyn, you they, like that that situation. They wanted you there, right? They 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 wanted you there. You go there for a year and a half. You break that situation up. You move. To, you you go to Philly. Then you you're there for a year and a half. What is so every year and a half? James Harden need to get out of there. Is that what yeah. we're doing? That's yeah. exactly what it seemed like he doing. He's just kind of bouncing around, and it don't make sense to me, man. Somebody who is talented, you know what I'm saying? And with, honestly, he's been able to adjust pretty well. Even though you know what I'm saying, he had his moments to where you'd be like, man, that was terrible. He he did bounce back in some uh some ways this playoffs. When he was able to win at least, I believe he won two games by having good performances. Bro, why would you walk away when all you all you gotta do is be like, hey, uh Daryl Morey, come on, Brody. You know me and you cool, buddy, buddy. Go ahead and let's spice this up. Let's get rid of Tobias Harris or something since you want to get rid of coaches. I imagine you got some type of pull like that, right? I don't know this dude. Like, this is why I, I I always say people think I'm being harsh. He's probably number one on the person I I least like the most in the NBA because he always doing something that just don't make sense. Yeah, you, I don't get it. Like first of all, the main reason I don't like you is because you know how to play the game right, and you just choose not to. And then right. you want to come to organizations, put your little sense and everything, make it more comfortable for you. Then leave it in a blaze of the glory just to go somewhere else to do the exact same thing. You think you're not gonna do this when you go to the uh, to New York? You think you're not gonna do this when you go to Clippers? And it's cr- because every time that we've seen James Harden look his best is when he embraces being a facilitator. Yep. He's actually really good when he decides to be a facilitator and allows his scoring to complement him getting putting other people in position. But it's he started off that season, dude. Remember when we were talking like like Doc Rivers decided to move James Harden to the point guard, and it was working to start that, and it worked for the most part over the season. But like it's like he over the he, he self sabotages over time. It's like oh yeah, I'm mm-hmm. playing good at point guard, but uh, I want to take 15 shots there every time I touch the ball. I blame Mike D'Antoni. I blame Mike D'Antoni. That's fair. A hundred percent of why he's the Harden he is today. He's Kimball Harden because of him. The reason why he's Kimbo Hart is because <laughs> you need a guard in a Mike system. You need a guard that can penetrate the lane every single time. And that's all he wants to do. Dance, 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 step back or get to the lane. Kimbo Wedge. And I'm me personally, I'm happy that Houston, well, as it appears right now, we still don't know free agency is going to get ready and start hit him uh, tomorrow. I'm happy that right now Houston is not putting it out there that they want him to return. Ain't none of that. You left us, and I wouldn't want you back. And if I'm Ime Udoka, I want to build this from the ground up without any turmoil entering my locker room when I already got guys in here that are immature as hell. And y'all think I want somebody that's going to come in here and not be no, not provide good leadership and be a good vet to these young guys? No. So shout out to the Houston Rockets for right now because we still don't know what's going to happen. Let's hope they don't make the decision. I'm about to say for trade, right now. Yeah. It, it was different when you talk about signing him as a free agent, adding him to your young core, whatever else. I still had issues there. But if you start giving up some of these young players to trade for James Harden, you stupid. For real. And yeah, stupid is putting it nicely because I'm, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> no, for real, because it's not even just Harden I'm hearing they was interested. It's some other people. I'm like, what are you doing? What do you mean interested in that? No. Right. So, exactly. like, yeah, we gonna, I'm going to keep my eye on Houston because they still tweeting. I ain't going to lie. Exactly. You back, Hayes. You good. <laughs> but that was just some... trying to pick up them jerseys. That's what <laughs> <laughs> that was some quick from us today, man. Y'all got any final thoughts as we continue on with free agency? We're gonna be reporting, reporting, reporting. It don't stop, y'all. Y'all got anything else? I don't like Harden. <laughs> That's what I got. Hayes, is you are you there? I don't even think Hayes <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> they got him up out of there. But, mm-hmm. hey, y'all heard, y'all seen Hayes come in with the quick pop-in. But, hey, that's it from us. Hey, Houston, don't do it. James Harden, I don't know what you're doing, my guy, but get it together. But, hey, you can follow Steve-O Speaks at, on all social media platforms, at Steve-O Speaks. Follow Hayes 
on all social media platforms at CEO Hayes. And you can follow everybody here collectively at NBA Central Pod on all social media platforms. And send us any questions, comments, concerns at NBA Central Show at gmail.com or send in a call in, send in a text message at 773-270-2799. We're going to catch y'all on the next one. It's going down. You better start watching that Jason Kidd. <laughs> This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.